Hudson from Black Lives Matter. And um, while well, you get, you're in a hurry, I know that, and so yeah. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Let's talk about this decision because it was, as I understand, Pride made this decision at the instigation of Black Lives Matter, and you correct me if I'm wrong. No, you are right. So you are then, right. why would Black Lives Matter want to exclude a group from the Pride Parade? We want to. Because Pride is all about inclusion, about acceptance. Exactly. And so, when you go to the Pride Parade as a black, queer, or trans person who has been persecuted by the Toronto police, right. treated unfairly, it doesn't feel inclusive for us. Like, that's some place that Would we you rather leave. throw up a wall between of them? If someone is feeling aggrieved by somebody, and I'm not accepting that, but let's just, uh, I will, for the purpose of this argument, if someone's feeling aggrieved, is it not better to have open dialogue than to say, you know what, I don't like you, you stay over there out of my... Steve, that's been an attempt for years. Right. And nothing's been improving. And so well, we the, have the to, cops were we in there before, but now stand. they are. Oh, but look, there's 13 different police forces. They turn on their sirens and they've got like these, the, their buses and so cars, squad cars. Right. And that's a larger contingent than any other group at Pride. And so when our groups so, are being So your complaint is that by, they're being overpowered. Not just that, but when our, our people are being killed by police right. and they're not making any steps to change that. They're not making any steps to change the relationship. With I black don't want to get into the whole issue of Black no, Lives Matter because you know what? That's the whole issue, though. That is the whole issue. You black have to lives take are a being killed by say, far more than police. You have to do more. You have to take a stand and say, "Look, you are accountable to us, and if you're not going to do anything about this, we can't endorse you." That's what but, this is but about. But endorsement doesn't mean, I mean, to have them in the parade doesn't mean you're endorsing them. Absolutely to have them in the parade means that, you know what, we are here discussing it. We are an inclusive group and everybody is welcome. Absolutely. Behave, go by the rules, and you're welcome. Absolutely, it does mean an endorsement. And let's think about the way that police have been treating black, queer, and trans people in this community, but not just black folks outside of that. We've had this issue that's been happening at the park in Etobicoke. Right? Yeah. Where the police have persecuted a particular queer community. Nothing to do with blacks necessarily. Well, does it? Necessarily. Does it, yeah. But anything that's going to assist black people, I guarantee you, will assist everybody else in community. It's not just about us. So uh, black, so queer, and trans people tend statement. to be more persecuted than other groups. Sandy, let's take that statement to sure. assist people. To throw up a wall to exclude somebody is not assisting them. This isn't a wall. It's a call for them to do something about the way that black people are being treated by police in this city. Now, what about the community that runs Pride? If there was not police, first of all, in the parade or not police presence there, the police will be there as a presence because that's their job to protect mm -hmm. because if they weren't there and someone came in and they says they started you know, misbehaving, the first people that would be called would be the police. That's their job, protect everybody in the parade. Yeah, but we're, we're not talking about safety. We're talking about... It will, you their... will be talking about safety if there's a threat. No, but, but we're, we're not talking about police not having a presence in the city when there's a parade. We're saying not being a contingent in the parade. So That's if it was a smaller contingent, so you're, Sandy... You're mincing, you're mincing issues. If there was a smaller contingent, you mentioned that there was 13 floats or something to that effect. If there was a smaller contingent, would that be better? No, because I... Look, the police... The police have done nothing to address what's happened to Andrew Loku, what's happened in this city with respect to carding. So is it payback They've time? Done, it's not payback. This is people standing up and saying, Toronto Police, we're not going to accept you until these issues are dealt with. There's this particular segment of our society, black people, mm -hmm. who are being treated unfairly, with, without dignity, by the police. And that deserves an urgent response. Do you not and think the chief of police happened. is is dealing with that? Your no, concern? No, not at all. What what evidence is there to suggest that he is dealing with any of those concerns that I have just raised? Well, because he 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 is a black man, he is that, that, a civilized that, that man. He takes being his duty. Something doesn't mean he, that he's he, doing he something. He takes his responsibilities very very seriously. I, I I don't know what evidence there is to suggest that he has been doing. Okay, anything then you know what? We should probably set like up that. another meeting then, because uh, or or have someone set up because, from my understanding, mm -hmm. he is making tremendous strides. Give, give tremendous me an example. Gains. Give me an example. 
the fact that he is out there with policing and talking about it. Uh, what do you want specifically with what, with two of those cases you just referred to? He can't go back. He is not, you know, the, the chief justice. This he is not sitting there as just, emperor saying, I can do this and that. This isn't just two cases. And come on, you know that. These are issues that have been happening in our city for decades that people have been talking about for decades. You know, there are groups that came before us who've been talking about these issues and they haven't been Fixed. How would you and like them fixed? How would you, Sandy Hudson, like them fixed? There's all sorts of things that we've recommended. So, for example, no more carding at all. Getting rid of the carding data. There should be the SIU needs to be completely reformed or redone. I, th I thought carding was, needs... was was dealt with. It wasn't. I, you know, it's so frustrating. You know, like these politicians. I know how you feel about them. I feel the same way. When sometimes they announce things that and don't, they don't do it. But they, it's not just they that they're not through. doing it. It's like a weird, shady way of trying to get around the issue. So it sounds like a good announcement. You but make it's them not sound the though malevolent. They may be. They may. I think it is malevolent because you know, if they, you keep they, doing they may it, not be responsive enough as fast it's as you enough. want. It's not enough. It's at all. They've said we've banned carding, but what did that actually mean for them? They they put out a regulation, which was a step-by-step -step guide of how police can continue to card people without getting in trouble. That's not banning carding. That is continuing carding. That is questioning. And police job is to question in certain circumstances. As long as they're not being racist about it, if there's something going on and at 3 you know in the morning, that means? you want them as a citizen. You want some shady person at 3 o'clock in the morning to be questioned. And do you know what that means questioned. in the regulations? They say you can't stop on the basis of race alone, but you can on the basis of race and eye color on the basis of race and hair color. Now you tell me if that's going to that, that is the said issue. in the regulation you it can stop is. on the basis of I eye can, color. I can on the basis of race or hair and color? race and hair color or eye color. It can't be race alone. It must be race and one of these other things and eye color and hair color are examples Sandy that Hudson, are actually you know what? in the regulation. You I haven't read seen it. that. I'm going to get that. I, I'll send are you, it to you. you but no, I'm going to get it. it. And next week, you and I will have a discussion on that. Because, Let's do it. And I, not that I don't believe you. You are a smart woman. You're well-formed. I'm stunned. If they say you can stop someone on the only basis you can stop them is on race and hair I color. I didn't say only basis. It's one of the accepted bases is that you can't just stop them on race alone, but you can't stop them based on race and another characteristic. And the example that they give is eye color or hair color. I'll, I'll show it to you. Okay, Sandy Hudson, we are, we are out of time, but thanks for coming in. Yeah. Always wonderful discussions with yeah. you. You're an articulate, smart woman. Thank you. I disagree with you sometimes, but, but, but you I, know what? You know what? I like that what you said at the beginning, because I think it's cute that they're trying to pass it off as, as their decision, when Pride, the Pride AGM already made that decision. It's already done. Well, they have done, but they did it at the instigation of Black Lives Matter, I understand. Oh, yeah, but there were hundreds of people in that room. Well, you know what? I mean, it's from the, the, from the name of that community. I've spoken to some people uh, in that community, and they said, well, they don't agree with it. But uh, I can't imagine... people in that room. It was like a 95% vote. It was so good. You see, <laughs> they must be cowed by you. I'm not cowed by you. Cowed? I'm sitting in the corner <laughs> playing with some kids. Sandy Hudson, okay.